Welcome back. I think we all can agree that right now, this new look pattern sale that's going on at Hobby Lobby is the hottest thing right now. And yes, I had to get in on it. So a so week ago, I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up some patterns. Let me start by saying that if you are considering going and getting some new look patterns, I would highly suggest that you call whichever Hobby Lobby you plan on shopping and make sure that they are carrying the patterns first or at least having the sale because not all stores are participating in this new look pattern clearance. Well, my husband and I were planning to go to a salad bar that we like in Grand Prairie and I know that they just built a new Hobby Lobby out there because we were out there like a few weeks ago. So I was gonna kill two birds with one stone and just pick up my patterns when we went out there. However, I did call first and they told me that they don't carry any patterns. Those were their words. They don't carry any patterns. I don't know if she meant new look patterns or patterns, period. So there goes that. So I visited the store in Cedar Hill. First off, let me say that these patterns were not in a drawer, okay? When I went, I went straight to the fabric section. I looked around at the cabinets, nothing said new look. So I'm like, man, did I miss them? Well, luckily when I walked in, I saw an employee at the front of the store and I asked her if they had any new look patterns on sale or if they were completely out. She said, if we have any, they will be in our clearance section. I said, clearance section? She said, yes, it's on the back wall in the fabric department closer to the left-hand corner. And I was like, I never knew Hobby Lobby had a clearance section. So I almost called my husband and told him to come inside because he was waiting for me in the car. But I said, you know, let me go back here and see what's back there first. Glad I did because there was nothing back there that, you know, he'd really be interested in. But these patterns were in um, clear buckets at the back of the store. And I was just like, wow, I never knew they had a clearance or a remnant section. There were a lot of remnants back there and I was just really shocked. I was blown away. But anyway, these patterns were not in any particular order in the bins. They were just there. People had already looked through them and you could tell they were out of order and just scattered. So I had to just really look through. I didn't even care about looking at the numbers anymore. By that point, I was just looking at the covers. So I was able to get my hands on four patterns. Now, I did make a list of four patterns when I went. One of them I could not find, but I did get a bonus pattern. So let's start with those. Okay. So the first one is New Look 6346. And this is a variety of Mrs. Skirts. I like view A that the model here is wearing. I think they hit the nail on the head when they chose this view for the model to wear. It is very well styled and I've been wanting a button down skirt. So this was right on time. And then I mentioned it is an easy pattern. The next one is 6378. And these are kind of like cardigans um short cardigans short and long cardigans i really like this because i do want to add um different cardigans to my wardrobe i only have a couple and they're the shorter ones but i do like the long ones because i just think they elevate any look next pattern is six five seven seven and this is a just for knits pattern i really like this cow neck line on this top and it is just gorgeous to me now i do like the views with the sleeves view c and view b so most likely i will make one of those and thank you to grace from so lovely at grace because she showcased this pattern in one of her videos and she wore the top and i thought it fit her well and it was just beautiful so the pattern that i couldn't find was this pattern here new look 6573 I really, really want this pattern. I really, really want this pattern, but I did not find it. Now I ran across this pattern just by looking through all of the patterns. New look 6580. And oh my goodness, 
was this pattern right on time. This view here, view A, is exactly the type of pattern that I've been looking for. I have this special fabric that I want to use to make a skirt with an overlay. And when I saw this, I was just like, oh my, what are the odds? So I will be making this pattern up soon because I wanna make this skirt for Mother's Day. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to knock this out. Now the fabric that I plan to use is something I've never worked with. So it will be a little bit of a challenge for me, but I believe that I can do it. So fingers crossed. On the way back out the store, I asked the same employee about the garments that Hobby Lobby has hanging at the end of their fabric rows. I see these garments all the time and I've always wondered who makes these garments. Well, she said corporate sends them to the different locations. And I was like, wow, in my head, I'm still like, but who makes them? You know, is there someone at corporate? Because before I thought maybe employees at Hobby Lobby that sold made the clothing, but I still don't know. But I did say that I was going to reach out to corporate to see how that works. And what made me even more intrigued to call the corporate office, which I haven't done yet, but I will. I saw main courses video where she made a trip to Hobby Lobby and she was inspired to pick up some fabric that a jumper was made out of. And this is the same jumper that is also in my Hobby Lobby. And we live in two different states. So I'm like, is do they make the same garment? Do they make multiple garments in the same fabric to send to all the stores? Is it, is it a certain fabric that they are trying to showcase and sell? You know, how does this work? So I was really like, Oh my God. So she was intrigued by these garments that hang on the end for a very different reason. And they're the same garment. Who would have thought? Now it is about a week later, a whole week later. And I just made another trip to Hobby Lobby today. And yes, I am going to play the blame game and blame Martika because I watched her video today and I was like, I have been trying to ignore the itch to make a second trip to Hobby Lobby and buy more patterns. But I saw her second pattern haul and I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go. Like, there's no way I'm not going to go. And if I don't go, I am going to be so mad at myself. So my husband picked me up from work. I said, hey babe, I wanna go to Hobby Lobby. And he said, okay. He pretty much knew what I was going for, but um, my intention was to go in there, get in and get out, and I did, but he stayed in the car at first, but then he ended up on the inside looking at some things himself, so it wasn't my fault that we were in the store longer than we should have been, okay? I just wanna put that out there, okay? So what I picked up on this second trip to Hobby Lobby was new look in 6696 and it is this pattern here. Now I do already own this pattern, but it is in a PDF and I haven't made it yet. And for 99 cents, why wouldn't I buy the pattern that is already put together? I mean, you know, that's just a no brainer. So I definitely picked it up. And when I got it for the PDF, I believe it was a free pattern at the time. I can't remember why or how, but I really like the way this dress is designed and it's split in the front. I just thought that was like so elegant and so cute. So I got this pattern. Next is N6597. It's an easy pattern just for knits. And it is this pattern here. And on this pattern, I do like view A and B actually b is what the model is wearing and it's what caught my attention and it's funny because i plan to make some dresses for myself and my daughters for mother's day along with that skirt so um i felt like this would be a good simple easy dress to make for them and just kind of pop them on out something that won't take me too long to do 
but I just, I really thought this was cute. Next one is New Look 6372. It is also an easy pattern. It is two tops and two dresses. Now, if you don't know, I like halter necklines and view A and C are the ones that caught my eye. And I believe that the model is wearing view C. And I did like this because it's very different. It's not your usual halter neckline that we see. And I just really, really, really like that. And I am going to make it. The only challenge is going to be finding the right bra to wear with that dress because you know I'm just I'm not a braless chick I, I just can't do it next is new look 6545 and this pattern is you know one thing one thing I've noticed about the new look patterns is that they really don't give you any description on what the pattern is if they do Point it out to me. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'm just missing it, but I haven't seen it yet and I have looked. But I am going to call this a bomber jacket and I really like this. It looks very simple compared to most other bomber jacket patterns. So I think this one would be fairly easy for me to construct and put together. Yes, it has a zipper down the front, a separating zipper, and I have proven to myself that I can do a separating zipper. So I'm kind of excited to make this pattern up. Next is New Look 6509, a smart options pattern. I'm not really sure what that means, but I did see this pattern on my first trip to Hobby Lobby and I passed it up. The reason being is because I saw the shorts and I saw the pants. I didn't realize on that first trip that these two were dresses, but I do like how they have these cutouts here. I believe those are cutouts. Let me check the line drawing. Yes, those are cutouts. I do like those and I didn't realize that these were dresses. So I do prefer the dresses for this pattern and I just think it's really, really cute without showing too much. Next is New Look 6469. It's an easy, just for knits pattern. This pattern is also one that could be considered for Mother's Day dresses for my daughters. This one would actually use a lot less fabric. So my plan for their dresses is I have three fabrics that I have not shown you all yet. But there's three fabrics they are kind of the same, but in different colorways. So I want to make them each a dress in separate colorways and then use their three dresses to make one dress for myself. So hopefully that's coming soon. Next is New Look 6447. This puts me in the mind of vintage dresses i don't know um if you get the same feeling or not for one the fabrics are pretty simple the fabrics that they have here pictured on the envelopes they are simple and they put me in that vintage mind frame but i love this waist accent how that just accents the waist and kind of pulls it in i really really like that and it seems fairly simple to put together Next pattern is New Look 6106, and this is four skirts. I like all the views on this pattern. I picked this pattern up specifically to sew for my niece. Um, she is 10. The pattern that I wanted to make up for her does not really go up in size according to her measurements. Her size is not included in that pattern. And I haven't really figured out how to grade up on patterns myself. I'm sure it's probably not that hard, but I don't want to waste any fabric and I don't want to mess up. So I looked at the garment measurements on the back of this envelope and her measurements actually fall into the smallest size on this pattern. So the only thing I would probably have to do is shorten the skirt because I do plan to make her view C. I'm not really sure about B and the pockets yet. My pockets are kind of hit and miss. So right now where I am with my sewing and the projects that I have lined up, I really don't have time to be playing around with 
anything and messing up fabric and starting over and whatnot. I just want to keep it moving. So I have another little bonus for you, okay? Because these are not patterns. Yes, this is two pieces of fabric, but let me tell you, I saw this and there was no way I was leaving it. I just wasn't, okay? There was not the 40% off sale on the fabric. And usually when I'm in Hobby Lobby and it doesn't say 40% off, I keep walking, you know? It doesn't bother me either way. But there was not a lot of either of these fabrics left so i was like if i leave this fabric it may not be here i hate to leave it but i hate to get it as well but i went ahead and got it okay. y'all know i take photos of the end of the boat for the description of the fabric so this first fabric that i have is black and white pink purple african print and it is Mm. Oh, sorry. It is 100% cotton. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is why I could not leave it in the store, you guys. I just could not. I couldn't. I couldn't. There was no way I was leaving this. I love purple. And this design or flowers or whatever you want to call it is just like perfect. I did get two yards of this. This one was um, $5.99 a yard and no sale. But I got two yards. Yeah, because the projects that I want to make with my African print are not going to require a lot of fabric. So two yards is just enough. Now. The next fabric that I'm going to show you is a fabric that I seen like mm, maybe a year or two ago and I liked it, but I didn't get it. Number one, the price, it was not on sale, so I didn't get it. Well, I went in there after that and I didn't see it. Well, this same time I'm in Hobby Lobby, I see the fabric and there's no way that I'm going to leave it this time. I didn't even look at what the price was. I just picked it up. I really assumed that it was $5.99 like the rest of the African print. But I should have known that because of this fabric and how it is made and the design on it, I should have known that it was just a little bit more expensive. I just picked it up and told her to cut it. So, of course... By that time, it was already cut when I saw the price. I mean, it wasn't too bad, so I just had to deal with it. But I knew I wasn't leaving it. The description of this fabric is gold, orange, metallic, and Kara fabric. It is 100% cotton, gold, and orange. So I asked my husband's opinion on whether or not he liked this fabric or not. And he said, he said, yeah, I actually like it better than the other one you picked up. But hey, it's your choice. And I said, OK, thank you. <laughs> it is this fabric here. And hopefully you can see that. And there's almost kind of like these polka dot um, cutouts in it. I don't know if you can see that too good. But it is very metallic, orange, white, gold. There's some black in there. And like I said, it has like these polka dot cutouts. Now, I'm really loving the polka dots. When I was younger, you could not have paid me to wear polka dots. And I just think this is awesome. Whatever I make with this, it... I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one because I bought my Ankara fabrics specifically for pretty much one type of garment. And this one is so it's so pretty. I just I don't know if I want to do something so simple with it or. I don't know if you have any suggestions, let me know. But that is the only fabric I purchased. I was able to have some constraint and my husband did not fuss about any of it. So thank you, hubby. And that's all for the fabric. I'm kind of curious what the reason is behind the new look pattern clearance, especially since it is not across the board at all stores. It's kind of hit and miss, right? I do only have two new look patterns in my stash and I have not sewn either of them up yet. 
So this sale came right on time and it really allowed me to get my hands on some new look patterns. And I think one of the reasons that I've passed up new look patterns in the past is because just right off, they kind of look like too simple, too easy. But I mean, what really does that mean? You know, I do like things that kind of give me a challenge, not too much of a challenge because I do have time restraints, but I like things sometimes with a little more design and then sometimes every now and then I do like things really simple. Most of the garments that I have made are, you know, in one color, they are simple, but they have a little more design and a little more um, skills included than some of the new look patterns. But I say that to say we all need some quick and easy, simple patterns in our stashes because sometimes we lose our sojo and we just need something to help us get back in the swing of sewing not only that i feel like new look patterns are great if you are a beginner and you want to get your hands on some quick and easy patterns Again, I have not sewn any new look patterns, but just from the line drawings and looking at the pictures on the front of the envelopes, they are pretty easy. What I would call easy and beginner friendly. So definitely if you are just starting out on your sewing journey and you want to sew garments and get your feet wet, new look patterns are definitely some patterns that you'll want to try. So that's two trips that I've made to Hobby Lobby and we're actually supposed to be trying to do better with our budget and our spending. And my husband wouldn't deny me, you know, going to buy any patterns or fabric, especially when it's a good deal like this. But I am trying to be mindful of what I'm spending, how much I'm spending and how often I'm spending. But I just couldn't let this sale pass me up. 99 cent, it doesn't get better than that. Let me know down in the comments if you have jumped on the new look pattern sale and if you've picked out any of these same patterns. I already know that I'm going to enjoy sewing these up and I think I'm going to go ahead and throw a couple of them in the mix with the projects that I already have planned. So if you have sewn up any of these projects, let me know. Let me know what your overall opinion is of new look patterns because like I said I haven't sewn any but I feel like they are pretty easy that's all for me I don't plan on doing any more shopping or any more spending right now I am focusing on getting projects sewn up so I hope to see you in the next video hopefully you have subscribed and hit that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is uploaded I hope to see you soon and in the meantime keep sewing Thank you.